Hey guys, and welcome back to the X-Ring. So there's another type of torque tool offered by Borka Tools called the PTL, or the Precision Torque Limiter, which looks like this. Uh, it's about the size of a shotgun shell. It's about three inches long, not quite an inch in diameter. I think it's like 0.87. And these are set from the factory for a set torque value. So this one is four inch pounds. It's very useful for using it on something like the clutch drivers for your night force for your clutch or maybe your caps. Very nice tool, but you also have them all the way up to 100 inch pounds. This would be for cross bolts for night force, like a, a six mount ring. Uh, there's a lot of different calibrations that you can get them in. And this one's in 90 foot inch pounds. So it's really nice to have that set depending upon the type of weapon system that you're using that might have a certain torque value. And if it's something that you don't see that's offered, Borka is able to set up a torque value for you because these are adjustable from the factory, but not for the end user. Once they set it at, let's say, 62 inch pounds, then it's locked in at 62 inch pounds and it will be marked as such. But you have to use a couple different things. So on this kit right here, this is a 25 and a 45 inch pounds. And so I actually am getting ready to do a build on a proof research and I'm getting ready to mount a spur base onto it or spur sight system on there. So I know that the crossbar is torqued at 45 inch pounds. Let's see how we would apply this torque limiter. So guys, on this spur mount here, I've just placed it on top of the Picatinny. You can see it's still loose. I do know that the cross bolt torque is 45 inch pounds. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slide it forward. So I always slide my mounts forwards to help mitigate that recoil. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and snug it down with my fingers in the order that they indicate here, one, two, three, and four. Now what I'll do is I will take the PTL, the Precision Torque Limiter, and this one is set for 45 inch pounds. Let me let you guys read that. So what we're going to need to do now is we're going to take the ratchet, we're going to place it on the back because we know this is set for 45 inch pounds. We're going to place our bit into the back. It is locked in with a spring and we can change it if we needed to, to loosen. I don't like to do that with torque wrenches, but this is on the number one for 45 inch pounds. Let's look at it up close. All right, so up close, starting at number one, what we're going to do is just slowly turn this Let's go ahead and pre-tension everything up so that it's nice and snug. And we'll go ahead and clip that value, 45 inch pounds. You guys can see how it breaks over releases just like a standard torque wrench when it hits that 45 inch pounds value. I'll go back and double check it. And it's that simple. All right guys, so there will be times that you will have some ranges that are outside of that 10 to 70 inch pounds that are achievable with the Borka Torque Driver. So the precision torque limiter, in this case, this is 100 inch pounds, which I use a lot of night force mounts and optics and things like that. The cross bolt for this is 100 inch pounds. So even though it's outside of the range, I still got this as part of the kit in my combo kit. So basically I use the wrench, place it on the back side. I'm going to use my half inch drive. And if I needed to go ahead and torque this to 100 inch pounds, there it is. There's 100 and 100. So it's just that simple. The Precision Torque Limiters by Borka Tools makes it really nice. This one's in 100 inch pounds. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that review of how to use the Precision Torque Limiters by Borka Tools. Go check them out. Hope to see hear from you soon. Have a good one.